Well, uh, a question from myself, if I may, uh, and then we'll we'll really jump into it. Uh, but I, I'd love to hear from you about how the porn industry is changing. You know, we, we've talked a little bit about the introduction of the tube sites and how the last decade has really thrown things into upheaval. And I, I guess I'm just curious uh, what where you see things going and uh, what these changes have really meant for you and, and for other creators. Yeah, I mean, um, so again there is this when you're talking to me you are talking to someone who has some level of privilege in this industry uh just because i have been here for so long um so my perspective i know is 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 limited to my experiences and those of you know friends people i've had conversations with and things like that but um I love the fact that uh, now it just really feels like what has happened um, since the tube sites and since so many of us figured out that we could pick up the phone and start making porn for ourselves and learning how to use social media and use the internet to be empowered in the industry that we work in, um, you know, I, I just like if there's a director who treats you badly you can go on twitter and tell everyone your story and people can choose whether to believe you or not um but that makes some action happen it makes it kind of holds companies accountable for their directors and who they hire um you know i just feel like i used to be at a point where i'd have to be kissing a lot of ass and um, maybe tolerating certain things just so that I could get that job because I knew I needed that job. I knew I needed that paycheck and those opportunities. Um, so I couldn't maybe speak up about certain things or speak mm -hmm. my mind in certain places. And it was really liberating realizing like that I'm doing this all like mostly on my own now. And I don't need that shitty ass narcissistic director to hire me <laughs> anymore. So I don't have to like be cool with the way that person is behaving. I can just not work with them anymore and I can say no. Uh, so I, it's becoming in that sense, I guess like democratized um, and the power is put back into the hands of the performers a lot now um as long as you're savvy enough and you know like there's coming up um something is called like the why not summit they have i think like an awards thing or something but they do workshops they'll do that sometimes with like expos and um or like exoticas and things like that they'll have like panels and you can get that information so let's say you're not super savvy with um, social media and stuff like that. And I'm not the greatest, but, sure. uh, you could take these workshops, you can learn how to use them to your benefit, how to maximize, um, getting fans in, getting customers, you know, only fans is an amazing platform, but like there are others that are just like that where now it's like, as you, as long as you make yourself like a niche and people love you, like you're, you're getting your money from those customers. Like that's where mm -hmm. your income is not from, these directors of these big companies. And I just see it going further down that, that rabbit hole. More and more bespoke. Yeah, totally. Like more people um, learning how to do those things and um, how to really, you know, take the wheel uh, <laughs> sure. and control of their own careers and not having to do anything they don't want to do or feeling even pressured to, because you can just be like, fuck off <laughs> um so yeah that's that's kind of what i'm seeing happening and it's great <laughs> yeah well i glad to know that there is some good news in the industry and on the yeah. the sex worker front yeah definitely <laughs>